Hello everybody, so today we are looking at some stoichiometry and the question is question 10, 2004. Um, okay, look, let's just get started. We're told in the question here that HCl is dangerous to skin and eyes because it's so corrosive and that the entire contents of a bottle, that's 2.5 litres of conch HCl, was spilled in a lab. The acid then was neutralised by adding um, sodium carbonate and we're given a reaction here. We're told that the spilled acid was 36% solution of hydrogen chloride in water. Okay. And question I is asking us to calculate the number of moles of HCl spilled. Now, we must be careful here. If we look back at any of this, we're not given anything in, term, in terms of mass. Okay, nothing, in fact. Okay, so we can't use our traditional formula there of um, number of moles of mass over MR. There is another formula that we often use though. And that is number of moles equals volume times your molarity over thousands. Okay, let's see what we have here. Well, we actually do have the volume. Okay, but we're told in the question that it's 2.5 liters. Now, really important for this. Okay, the volume here has to be in centimeters cubed, so therefore it's going to be 2,500 centimeters cubed times our molarity, which we don't know just yet, over 1,000. So there must be a way of figuring out the molarity. Well, we put in our formula there, okay, what does molarity mean? So molarity, same as the number of moles, um, is mass per litre over the MOR. Okay, now, we're not given anything here except that we're told it is 36% weight per volume. Now, as soon as I see 36%, okay, um, for any of these, okay, I can assume that this 36%, and I'm just going to make a little key down here, That 36% here equals 36 grams per 100 centimeters cubed. Because that's 36% would be 36 grams per 100 um, centimeters cubed. We're dealing with weight per volume. Okay, now we need to find this in terms of mass per liter. Okay, so we have a mass per 100 centimeters cubed. So we need to convert that. 100 goes into a liter 10 times. So if I multiply 36 grams by 10, I'll get 360 grams, and therefore we'll have it per litre then, which is what we want. Okay. Now, we want to plug that back up here, and we want to find out what the molarity is. So the molarity equals 360 and we just divide that by the MR, and if you get the MR of HCl, is 36.5. And when you do that, you're going to get 9.86. Okay, that is our molarity. And now we're going to plug this in up to the top um, equation up above. So it's a bit messy, I know that. Um, so we'll continue on down here. We've got 2,500 times 9.86 all over a thousand and that's our number of moles and we're dealing with HCl so our number of moles equals a total of 24.66 moles okay so a tiny bit messy there I know um, so what do we do start off we use our formula over here. Our number of moles is volume times molarity over 1,000. Okay, we figured out that, yes, we have the volume, we have the 1,000, that's always there. We need to figure out what molarity is. So we use our formula. Molarity is mass per litre over the MR, the molecular mass. So I came up here and I realised 36% is equal to 36 grams per 100 centimetres cubed. I need to change my 100 centimetres cubed into a litre. So I multiplied it by 10 because 100 goes into... A liter a thousand ten times so that's where i got this from so i calculate the molarity which is down here 
to be 9.86 grams, or not grams, um, the molarity, the molar concentration there, 9.86 moles per litre, I should say. And I popped that back up here, and this is what I got down here. Okay, 24.66 moles. Uh, yeah, a little bit messy, I know, um, but nonetheless, that's that's that part of it done. Okay, I think that's the hardest part of it. So, next question reads, what is the minimum mass of hydrous, anhydrous sodium carbonate required to neutralize the spilled HCl? Okay, write out your formula for mass. So, if number of moles equals mass over MR, therefore mass equals number of moles times the MR. Okay, and if we're moving on swiftly there, okay, the mass then. Equals now we're dealing with anhydrous sodium carbonate there, so I'm just going to tell you the mass there, and we should know it from our um, experiments. Any of, of the mass, I should say, the MOR, we should know it's 106. Okay, that the uh, um, sodium carbonate there, if you add up the MOR of that, it'll be 106. Now what we have to do is figure out the um, the number of moles, and I'm just going to use my ratio version of it here. I can see I have the number of moles of HCl already. And it's 2 is to 1 here. So I actually want to have half the number of moles as I do for HCl for sodium carbonate. So instead of 24.66, okay, I'm going to divide that by 2, okay, and we get our um our 12.33. I multiply that by my 106. And we're going to guess as a relatively high number here, a mass is 1306.98 grams so that's a that's a much higher number than we're used to but if you think about us when we're dealing with HCl we're not we're not dealing with two and a half liters we're actually only dealing with like 10 mils or 20 mils or whatever okay so um, that's where the difference is in terms of the mats there um, so don't be put out, out by getting such a high number of that. So 1306.0 uh, something there grams. So we have I done, we have II. Now the last part. The last part reads, what volume of CO2 in litres at room temperature and pressure was produced? Now, same thing again, guys. As soon as I see litres and as soon as I see not, room temperature and pressure and volume, I'm just thinking of one formula. So volume equals our number of moles times, now if it's room temperature and pressure, it's 24 litres. So, what do we have? Um, so what volume of CO2 there? So carbon dioxide, we're looking for the number of moles now, guys. So if we have, if we look at our ratio there, if we look at the Na2CO3, which we have already, and the CO2, we can see it's one is to one. Okay, so therefore the number of moles are going to be the same. So we're dealing with 12.33 moles times 24. And if I multiply the um, the two of those together, so I'll do it on the calculator there, 0.33 times 24, we want to guess 295.92 liters. CO2 gas being produced. Um, so look, that's it guys for um, for this one. It was tricky enough, I suppose, for the start. But um, once you can do it once, to be honest, they're really just they're the same, really. And you can do them all then. Um, so I hope you took something from this and um, we'll talk again soon for another video lesson um, in the upcoming days.